Thank you, Jackie. So, thank you, Jackie. Um, I didn't, I did, we, we uh, actually edited the, the proceeding uh, with, uh, we, I did it with uh, Selena and Giotina. So all three of us work on it uh, together. Um, I, I just want to talk about uh, the next uh, proceeding. Uh, following this uh, uh, webinar, I noticed that uh, not all the presentation presented a uh, research uh, research. Um, so it's it's not going to be uh, only research uh, publication, <laughs> but it's going to be more. Uh, about a uh, intervention programs so uh, i i would like i mean we would we would like to encourage you to uh, publish this wonderful uh, work that all of you uh, did and presented here in the webinar uh, we would like to hear more about your vision about the aim of the uh, intervention or prevention what was the model uh, that you would like to share with us and we can share it with other people around the world? And what, what were the challenges, the limitation? Uh, maybe you can uh, point on similar intervention and uh, uh, show it in the literature review. So uh, we, we really welcome you to uh, publish it, to write the paper and publish it in uh, the proceedings. On the other hand, we want to ask you to remember that we want it to be an academic document. Uh, we are happy to give this platform to uh, publish uh, your uh, wonderful idea, but we want it to be a academic, so I would like to send it again. I mean, Sheena already sent you the guideline for the proceeding, but we can send it again, and uh, it will be wonderful and to to have your uh, ideas and share it with us uh, for the proceeding. I want to say something about the current uh, proceeding, the 2021 uh, proceeding, uh, that, uh, that uh, just I want to share it with you that most of the papers in the last, uh, in the current uh, proceeding uh, from the last year is focusing on the COVID. I mean, all kinds of ways that we cope with uh, the COVID and and the researchers who, and the authors who uh, published in this uh, proceeding uh, did a lot of research uh, about the uh, uh, impact of the COVID. But I think that, and it's interesting to think how it's happened, the, the next uh, proceeding will uh, focus on cultural diversity, on the collectivism, uh, vice versa of uh, individualism, and the, it focused on the community and the collaboration between us. So it's something else that uh, happened here in the last year and uh, it's a beautiful fruit uh, of uh, all of you. So. Thank you very much. I can, I, I just can, if I can, uh, no, I can't uh, share my screen. I want to show that the, 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 the proceeding. Anyway, Brian, thank you. I can Brian. show it. I can show okay. it. Okay, thank you. If so, you want, if you want yeah, to. And, and Brian already upload the proceeding to our website and hopefully it will be on Amazon in the next few days and you are all welcome to see it. It's, it's the, the, all the articles are peer reviewed and uh, formatted very, very nice. Thank you, Bertina. So you are 
most welcome to uh, read this uh, proceeding. Brian, can you say where exactly they can find it on the website? Yes, it's, uh, it's on the homepage. And if they go over to Oxford Symposium to 2021 proceedings, mm -hmm. uh, it, that's, that's where it is. Thank you. Thank you and, very much. And if they just scroll down and click on this button here, uh, the proceedings are all here. Here are the three editors, Nareet, Selena, and Gertina. And um, this, uh, this edition of the proceedings is dedicated in memory of Michael Kelly, our colleague that died uh, last year. And then the, all the proceedings follow here. If you can just show the first uh, paper, uh, the first uh, paper of the first uh, article, just to okay. show the abstract and the keywords and the, yeah, beautiful. Thank you, Gertina. <laughs> uh, I you. would like to, I would just like to add a comment. First of all, there's a question about what is the deadline. The deadline was yesterday. So if you can send your papers as quickly as possible, it would be very helpful because we do go through a review process so that your article has some stature in the academic world. It's not just a, a, a journal, a, a magazine that you have next door uh, or it can buy in the, um, in the corner shop. This is an academic journal. It doesn't matter whether it's not research. It can be a theoretical paper or an opinion paper. And if you have difficulty in writing or because you are not experienced, you're not in the academic field, please do contact the three of us and we can help you. It's not, we don't want to say is just because you're not an academic or you're not used to writing academic papers that we don't want to publish your stuff. Please contact us, send us what you have and help us to spread the world of all the wonderful things that we have learned over the past three days in these presentations. It is very important. As I said yesterday with the African presentation about the indigenous and the cultural knowledge, this needs to go out in the big field and SBHC um, uh, webinar proceedings is a way of getting it into the bigger picture. Hoping to see everybody's presentation. Even if you haven't presented this webinar, you can still send us a paper. <laughs>